What if you could use options to put $100 in your pocket every single day with an 80% success rate? Would you do it? I have a four-step system I want to teach you today to help you utilize options the right way. Everybody on the internet is teaching options as a degenerate way to grow your account and double it for no reason at all. Here's the safer way to utilize options, which is four steps using SPY. You don't have to have 10 grand, 20 grand, 50 grand. You just need a couple thousand dollars and you can really make $100 a day. I'll prove it to you. It's going to be shocking. But what you want to do is decide the direction, grab the long option, sell the short option, and roll daily. It's that simple. But here's the thing. You can play bullish and bearish. When you're deciding the direction, you're basically utilizing the poor man's covered call for bullish or the poor man's covered call put for bearish, but you're not grabbing 12 month out options. You're grabbing much shorter duration options. And this is where it gets super exciting because you don't need a lot of money to create that hundred bucks a day. So again, the first thing we want to do is decide the direction. I have a simple trick. It's nothing that is very fancy, very hard to understand, but it's just using EMA clouds. So if you have those bullish clouds, when it's 3-8, the 3-8 combo using the ripster, we want to go with the green for bull. So that means you do the poor man's covered calls and then poor man's covered puts or when the cloud is bearish. So ideally, you're entering this strategy when the clouds flip. Let me show you. So here's the bull setup, the 3-8 cloud on the daily chart. So decide direction and we'll say SPY daily chart. We can see that the cloud flips here, semi-ish here, here. So three places you can get in. It's a very important that you get direction correct because this is the make or break risk to reward opportunity where it becomes not just passive income, but you're tripling the amount of money you're making. So if the cloud flips green, we're going with the poor man's covered calls. If the cloud flips red, poor man's covered puts, and very simple, the 3-8 cloud on the daily chart. So again, if you don't know, I do coach one-on-one. Apply below, we accept students every three to six months. The next students are coming in around June. So if you wanna get ready for that next opportunity, just fill out an application, we'll take five seconds, link in the description. But here, what we're doing is once we have our direction, we're gonna grab our long option. I don't specify on calls or puts because again, it is related to the cloud. If the cloud's green, we do calls, the cloud's red, we do puts. Let's say we go bullish. So we buy in at that first flip right there. We're gonna go long option. We're going delta 50 to 70, and we're going 10 to 14 days out. Mind blowing. So short, you can do the poor man's covered call 10 to 14 days out, and it's insane what can happen if it's done correctly. So if you did grab the long option, let's say May 15th, that's about 10 trading days away. You bought the 444 call that has a 36% chance of profit and it's a 58 delta. So that costs 650 bucks. It's a very cheap way to get into the poor man's covered call. So once you have one option or two or three, we want to start making that 100 bucks a day by selling against it. This is where you sell the option against. So if you have calls, you sell the call. If you have puts, you sell the put. So you're going to be selling the delta 20 to 30, which gives you an 80 to 70% chance of making that 100 bucks per day. You're just going one day out. So one day out is very small. You're basically making that premium, getting that decay very quickly. So if you were to go to your option chain and decide which one to sell, The triple Q here has an option expiring today. If you were to sell the 448, it has an 80% chance of profit, which has a delta of like, um, I think 20 because of that. So it's typically 20 minus 100 is the chance of profit. So this brings us in $43. So again, you have that long option, 650 bucks. The short option brings you in 43. That's $40 in one day. So if you wanted to get 100, you'd have to buy three of these, which is around, let's call it two grand. Here's the thing. When you sell the option, 
You don't want to hold till expiration. You want to close it 30 minutes till the market is closed and you want to make sure um, you roll it an extra day out. So you're closing the option 30 minutes till the market's done or if the value gets too small. If the value gets to like 0.05, we're typically looking to get out of the option because the risk to reward is skewed. We've collected pretty much all the premium. There's no point in holding the option because if there's a crazy last move in the at last hour, last 30 minutes, that 0.05 could go 1,000%. And then your option is losing money instead of making money. So we're just gonna do the same thing we did before, repeating that process of going Delta 20 to 30 one day out. But this this is where you roll it and rolling. We have a whole video on it, so make sure you watch the video on rolling. You're basically rolling up or down or the same strike. So the cases that happen, let me show you here. There's a whole video you can understand, but for the triple Q, so let's go over the three scenarios of rolling. So for example, if you had an option that was in the money, let's say 441, when you roll it, this option is going to be negative. But the thing is, typically if it's negative, if, if it's in the money, your long option made you a bunch of money in that process. So when you roll it, you might lose money because it's down. But when you roll it, let's say to that 80% chance of profit there for the next day, um, that's where you're going to be making 77. So you'd miss out on maybe 70 bucks on the roll, but your long option would be making money in that case. So when I say 100 bucks per day, either the short option makes 100 or like the long option could. And in some cases, if you do this perfectly, both make money. So the point is when you roll in the money, you want to roll it to the 80% chance of profit. If you roll at the money, same thing. But if this is at the money, um, you want to make sure that premium gets as close to zero as possible by the time of expiration. For example, the price of the stock is 445.12 and the option is trading at 80. So the intrinsic value is $12. It's trading at 80, which means there's about $60 left for you to collect. So you have to understand if there's extrinsic value because you want to get all of that gone before you roll. So once that happens, that $12 option, if you roll it, let's say to that 80% chance of profit, um, you're getting 78 to 50 bucks. So once that option goes down to hopefully zero, you're going to get that full roll premium and you're going to be able to make money on the current option and then get ready to make money on the next one. So if you do if you do roll out of the money, let's say we're at 447, this option is basically at zero. You pretty much want to roll that now. So if you roll that around the ten to five dollar mark, um, you're able to collect an extra like seventy dollars just right away. And again, if it gets too slim, if the option has a lot smaller amount of value in it, you want to roll that thing quickly. So that's the three ways to roll. There's a whole video on it you can watch. I just wanted to make sure you guys understood. Um, that rolling is an art. It takes a while to kind of figure out how to roll properly, but all we're trying to do is keep it at the 20 delta, which is 80% chance of profit, and we're just rolling under these two conditions. If the value gets under 0.05, if we're 30 minutes to the market close. So let's go through the three scenarios here that helps you understand what could happen if the market goes down, sideways, or straight vertical. What I want to point out, though, is I've never done this. This is theory-based, but the point is that I've done long-term option selling. I sell options all the time. I understand it, but just looking at the math here, it just makes sense. Basically, this optimal scenario is where the stock goes up and the long option goes up in value, kind of like this chart here. If you bought poor man's covered calls 10 days out, the long option, if it goes up 100%, would kind of look like this chart. And your ideal scenario is that the short option goes to zero every single day. So you make money from the short option and the long option. That's both at the same time. That's the ideal scenario. If that happened, you'd make 2000 So your $2,000 investment would double. Um, that would be a $2,000 profit. And then you make a thousand bucks 
off of the option premium collection. So if you had the optimal scenario hit, that'd be like a three grand profit all said and done. But let's say the long option goes up to 200%, that's where you're making uh, five grand. And if it goes up 300%, you're making like six grand. So the more the stock goes up, the more that the, this strategy really helps you risk to reward wise. And the reason why I say that is because let's say that you have the worst case scenario, you know, you do poor man's covered calls in the bear trend. So you, you're instead of the bull trend, the bear trend, because you're a noob and you lose money on the long option. The short options print every single day. You know, you print with the short option consistently. If that happens, you're losing a thousand. That's the worst case scenario, in my opinion, if you sell correctly, because the two grand goes to zero and then you collect a thousand dollars because you did 10 days of a hundred bucks passive income. So if that happens, you don't lose two grand because you made a thousand from the short options, you lose a thousand. So in that case scenario, um, you lose a thousand would be the worst. In the uh, middle scenario, probably happened more often than not, is where you outpace time decay. For example, like the chart goes up, but the option decays just as much. So let's say if like on this chart here, the option, let's say is 15 days out. And every single day, you can see from the profit and loss here, you're losing money from time decay. So if you wake up tomorrow, and this is gonna be a positive, you're losing 10%, you're losing 16%, you're losing 20. So if in the, the middle scenario is the stock goes up, it only goes up enough for you not to lose money. So this staircase here, you can see by the end of expiration, you know, the stock goes up $7. And that way you don't lose money. And the best um, thing that happens is that your premiums that you sell go to zero as well. So if that if those two things happen, the stock goes up just to beat time decay, and then the premiums are fully collected, you'd make $1,000, which is the premium collection. So the two grand stays at its break even. You just you're at two grand at the time of expiration. So you close it out for break even, but your short options make you a thousand as collection. So that's the middle scenario. That's what we can expect if the market doesn't go up very aggressively. Um, if we do get a very aggressive market, that's where this strategy really outpaces the losses. And the risk the reward becomes a three to one instead of a one to one. But again, one to one is fine when your option's selling because when you have an 80% win rate, that's where the one-to-one -one can be more winners than losers over time. So it's a really simple way to sell options and make a thousand, a hundred bucks a day, a thousand bucks after the 10 days. And if you expand your time horizon, let's say 30 day out for the long calls, it's a little safer. You need more capital for that, but you can sell more against it. So you could sell 30 times against it. This is probably the, the smallest amount you could do for expiration to make the most amount per day. Hopefully this video intrigues you, helps you understand some concepts you didn't know before. And if you want to trade with us inside the Discord for seven days, hit the link below. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out, traders.